morning sort of afternoon after a pretty good first session there. Explanations for sort of what went wrong along the way there with the band? Yeah, obviously, as you said, not uh, ideal finish to the to the day. Uh, I thought we were able to, to build some partnerships, um, you know, at the start of the the start of our innings, and, and we're in a reasonably good position. But um, I guess we've seen on the surface that uh, it can be a tricky wicket to, to get yourselves in on, and and I think that was probably a reflection of, of the the evening session. So um, yeah, game sort of in the balance at the moment, and I guess. South Africa have shown how to bowl on that surface, and uh, hopefully, when we get our opportunity tomorrow, then then hopefully we can do something similar. What were the troubles in terms of in terms of dealing with that wicket? Uh, I think we've obviously seen a bit of sideways movement uh, early on with the new ball. Um, it's probably a little bit hard to to drive on the surface, but thought we managed to get through that new ball phase reasonably well. Uh, obviously, Kane and I managed to to build a bit of a partnership, and um, we've obviously seen a, a bit more turn than probably what we're used to here uh, in New Zealand. So. I guess from our point of view, a, a batting and, and bowling unit, it's about trying to adapt to, to the surface now and, and adapt to the changes as, as quick as possible. And, and we've obviously got a good opportunity to do that tomorrow morning. Has that made it a little trickier to decide what your sort of batting approach is going to be as to whether it's sort of, you know, a matter of uncruding it out and, and then getting yourself set before going on or trying to continue to push the score along? Yeah, I think everyone's sort of got their own method in terms of, of how they like to approach batting, uh, whether it be on a, a surface that's offering more for the seamers or, or offering more for the spinners. So um, obviously Dane Pete showing how to bowl on that surface. He obviously bowled, bowled really well, bowled tightly uh, economically and, and obviously managed to get some rewards. So um, we've obviously got a couple of spinners in, in our lineup. and obviously turned the ball uh, both ways. So I'm sure they'll get plenty of opportunity uh, over the coming, coming day. Yeah, I think um, Dane Patterson with the new balls, um, obviously pretty challenging. He just is like a bong machine. He just keeps <laughs> coming back and and putting the ball on the spot time after time. So uh, and he looks a bit of for a bit of assistance off the surface. And um, you know he's bowled beautifully. Um, you know throughout the the two Test matches and um, obviously Dane Pete's bowled really well today. Uh, as I said, he bowled economically and put the ball in the right areas for long periods of time and, and managed to get some rewards uh, from that and. As I said, it looks like a wicket that it looks hard to start on, especially when, when the ball is turning and bouncing. So, um, you know, I think we've got to take that as a positive from, from a bowling point of view tomorrow, and, and hopefully we can put South Africa under pressure. Does it feel like you're up against a side that's relatively ruthless at the moment, given that they've got their circumstances that they're about to lose? Well, I think regardless of what team South Africa put out there, they're, they're a proud cricketing nation, a proud sporting nation, and, um, you know, we always, always believed that they were going to come. and and play to their best, best of their ability. And um, they've certainly shown um, that throughout the, from the second, uh, the first test match to, to the last couple of days. So, um, you know, we're up, we know we're up for a good fight. And um, I guess the game's sort of at parity at the moment in terms of them only being 30 ahead. I think those 30 runs that, that Wag scored towards the back end, uh, you know, could potentially be quite vital, um, potentially towards the end of the game. So, um, yeah, we're obviously got to come out tomorrow with the belief of, if we can put the ball in the right areas for, for long periods of time, then uh, then hopefully we can get some rewards too. Fair to say, Tom, that the surface is pretty different to what you were expecting. Yeah, I think so. I don't think we probably initially we didn't obviously think it would potentially turn the way it has. Um, I think there's obviously bounce there for the for the spinners as well. So uh, I think the good thing from from our spinners they they do turn the ball and, and they do get bounce um, from the surface. So um, I guess it's going to be a good opportunity tomorrow. New ball is always going to be a, a key factor as well. And uh, if we can put South Africa under pressure and, um, and sort of bowl like we did in the first innings, then hopefully we'll give ourselves a good chance. A lot of the dismissals today were inside edges. Is it just sort of an illustration of how tricky it is actually finding the time and not there? Yeah, I think so. I think even looking uh, at South Africa's innings yesterday, I think they scored 220 throughout the whole day. So I think we're saying that scoring can be tough if um, you know if, if you are ruthless on on the areas that you bowl. So um, we've seen a couple of dismissals where chop ons and, and whatnot, and I guess that's that's something that we'll be looking to do as well, be able to I guess challenge the off stump as much as we can and um, and make them make good decisions around off stump. So um, we've obviously got some world class bowlers in our lineup, and and hopefully they can execute as best they can tomorrow. Uh, no, nothing at all. It uh, certainly hasn't been talked about over the last two test matches.
Cheers. Thank, Thank you. Everyone.